Broadly stated, the felony murder rule holds that any death that happens during the course of a felony is murder. But courts have imposed a variety of limits on its operation. One such limit is the doctrine of merger, which the Nevada Supreme Court explains in Rose v. State. Brian Rose and his girlfriend Jackie Watkins went to a friend's house. Rose brought his registered semi-automatic handgun with him. Sometime during the evening, Rose removed the gun's magazine and checked to make sure the chamber was empty. Later, while Watkins was on the phone, Rose pointed the gun toward her and told her to get off the phone. Then he shot a single round from the gun and hit Watkins in the head, killing her. Rose was arrested and charged with murder with use of a deadly weapon. Rose told police that he shot Watkins accidentally and didn't know the gun was loaded. At trial, no witnesses testified that Rose intentionally aimed and fired at Watkins. The prosecution relied on a theory of second-degree felony murder with assault with a deadly weapon as the underlying felony. Rose filed a pretrial motion to strike the felony murder theory, arguing that assault with a deadly weapon couldn't support a felony murder conviction because it merged into the homicide. The trial court denied Rose's motion and instructed the jury on second-degree felony murder. The jury found Rose guilty of second-degree murder. Rose appealed to the Nevada Supreme Court.